Good morning, SK. Good morning, SK. Welcome back, SK. Good morning, South. Gary Schneider, he gets out to the left side. Gary's going to make it out. He's past the 30. He makes a cut back to the inside. He's still on his feet. There goes Schneider. He's going to, he's going in. Five. Touchdown. South Kitsap. Can you believe it? What's up, SK? I'm Greg Pickard, the video production instructor. I'm jumping in and filling in for some uh, technical difficulties today. So let's go right into the announcements. It's time to register for AP and IB exams. All AP and IB students have been added to your respective Google Classrooms. Please watch the intro video and read through your registration info for your options when paying for the exams. For both AP and IB students, you have three options for how to pay. IP students must register by October 30th, regardless if you're in first or second quarter. Um, AP students must decide if you are taking an exam and the deadline for payment is March 6th. If you have any questions, you may email Mrs. Duchesne or if you're an AP student, you can also email Mrs. Evans. The yearbook staff wants to know what you've been up to during quarantine. Follow the link shown on your screen to take a short survey about quarantine. If you'd like to submit photos of your quarantine activities, the link for that is also shown on your screen. Remember, photos should be JPEGs and the original size for consideration when being put into your book. Hey seniors, have you been working on your high school and beyond plan? Seniors, listen up. The high school and beyond plan is a statewide graduation requirement. Administration says this needs to be done by January 30th. If you have no clue what to do after high school, this could be very beneficial for you. Go to the South Kitsap High School homepage and click on students. Scroll down to the section that says high school and beyond plan. Go to the Hello ID website and enter your district student login and password. Choose Zillow and get started. Remember, it's not only a requirement for graduation, but if you get it to us by December 20th, you could win a prize. We'll have more details on what those prizes might be in the weeks ahead. Continuing with post high school plans, here's Mrs. Nass with more. Hello Wolves, hope you enjoyed the three day weekend and are ready for this week. For college visits, you will see Gonzaga, UTI, Seattle University, and the Navy and Army National Guard. On Thursday, we have Gonzaga at 940 and Universal Technical Institute at 115. Friday, we will see Seattle University at 940. Next Monday, October 19th, we will have visits from the Navy at 805 and the Army National Guard at 940. We are also hosting our It's Your Future Fair this Thursday. This year, it's all virtual, so check your grade level classrooms for the presentation. There will also be a link for you to Zoom with me that evening from 5 to 6.30 if you have any questions. Another place you and your family will find the It's Your Future Fair presentation is on the Career Center website. When you are in the virtual presentation, you can click on the school or military branches that interest you. Below their icon will be a link to their sites. There is also a page with career videos. View as many as you like to get the information you need to make an informed decision about your future. Take care and go Wolves! Thank you Mrs. Nass and remember It's Your Future Fair starts this Thursday. Want a full ride to college while staying in state? Check out the Washington College Grant. You can apply at any time. Last week, some of our fellow Wolves were back at SK. Let's see why. Hands-on learning can be hard when you can't get your hands on the equipment. The solution? Send the equipment home to students. Recently, SKCTE handed out a wide range of supplies so students could still get hands-on learning while at home. This ranged from lumber for birdhouses, sewing kits to make felt monsters and masks, video production equipment for professional recordings, and pounds upon pounds of cooking supplies. In just two days, 275 pounds of flour, 600 eggs, and a whole lot of frozen milk went out to students of beginning culinary, advanced culinary, and pro start classes. They'll be making no-bake cookies, mac and cheese, and scones. Of course, before anything left, there was some paperwork to fill out and an allergy check, but overall it went smoothly. Some students got a chance to see their teachers for the first time outside of Zoom, which both enjoyed. With masks, faces, and the gloves in hand, the staff worked for hours waiting for students while packing as much as they could, including 600 feet of lumber. Back in September, there was even more. 450 pounds of clay from ceramics, 
drafting supplies for CAD, and whiteboards for ASL. And it doesn't stop there. Another pickup date is coming in just a few weeks. Now that second quarter will also be fully remote, keep an eye out for additional pickup dates. There's sure to be more days to come, but the SK staff and students are ready for it. You You're all set. Even if it takes a little extra time. If for some reason you miss the pickup days, contact your teacher as soon as possible. Hey SK, I'm Connor McKinley. Let's move on to sports. In Seattle sports, the Seattle Storm swept the WNBA Finals going 3-0 over the Las Vegas Aces. The Storm and Subird now have four championships to their name. And here's something special. Brianna Stewart, Jewel B. Lloyd, and Mercedes Russell holding up the WNBA trophy atop the Space Needle. Way to go, ladies, and see you next season. The Seahawks won again on Sunday against the Vikings, putting them 5-0 for the first time in franchise history. The Seahawks are known for putting on a show in the prime time, and this game was no exception with two touchdowns and two minutes in the third. Of course, it wouldn't be a Seahawks game without it coming down to the last two minutes of the game. The Hawks went for it on the fourth down twice with DK Metcalf scoring the game-winning touchdown. They have a bye next week, allowing them and the fans a bit of rest before taking on the Cardinals in Arizona on October 25th. On the topic of sports, I definitely miss our spirit nights. Right now, even the most spirited of us can feel a bit down. Even our good friend, Roscoe. Hands up, the second man through. He's, He's gonna, gonna hold it right away. He's gonna Let's score go a touchdown. Do you need an SK Spirit fix like Roscoe? Check out our old football archive with a new game every weekday on SK TV 205 on Wave Cable. Don't have Wave? Don't worry. Go to our YouTube page by clicking on the red play button on the high school site or by searching SKHS Video Production on YouTube. We will be posting old games almost every weekday online. Also, take a look around. You might see something you've never seen before at SK. It might have taken a while, but we at WTV finally have the full list of what clubs are back in action.
Still not sure what club to join? Well, you could join one of these. Athletic Medicine has started and will meet every other Monday starting at 2.30. For more information, please contact Jeff Spalding or Chris Hyatt. Model UN will start on November 12th at 2.10 and will be meeting every other Monday. Contact Ms. Blair and join the Google Classroom with the code on the screen. APIB's next meeting will be October 21st and then will meet every other Monday. Spanish Club will be making Mexican flowers via Zoom on October 21st starting at 2.30. Senora Keen is putting together the supplies that will be available next week. Please email her for more information. FCCLA will be meeting every Thursday at 2.05 virtually. If interested, please email Mr. Poppy for the Google Classroom code. Over a year ago, SK DECA held the first annual CF Hero 5K. This race was a huge success, raising nearly $6,000 for the Cystic Fibrosis 5K and seeing over 170 runners. The 2020 race was looking to be an incredible one when COVID-19 struck, causing the race to be moved to a virtual platform. The race will happen November 21st through the 23rd, but it is encouraged to run when it best suits you. If you are interested in participating or donating, please use the link below to register. For more information, email skdeca5k at gmail.com or contact the Instagram at sk.cf.5k. Congratulations to our own Emily Irvine for being selected as the September DECA Member of the Month. Emily was selected for her hard work, leadership skills, and dedication to SK DECA. To wrap up the show, we have Pets of the Week. First, we have Mr. Mastin's assistants that are very lazy. She teaches in the room they usually sleep in, and sometimes her students can hear them snoring in Zooms. Next, we have Tika. She is a 19-week-old mini Australian Shepherd who belongs to Ariana Neely. Tika is a ball of energy all hours of the day, and she prefers ice cubes over treats. Finally, this is Nala. She is a 10-week-old English Cream Golden Retriever, and this adorable inquisitive new grand puppy belongs to our own Mr. and Mrs. Ladeau. Well, that looks to be all the news this week. You can find all announcements made today in the bulletin linked in the description, and please remember to continue social distancing and stay safe south. Have a great week.